be sure to cook. Welcome back to another show of Be Sure to Cook. Today, we're gonna to be making stuffed cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. So stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, we're gonna be working with some pecans. Well, these are heavy pieces of pecans. So I'm gonna pull a little pecans in here. Now you can put as much as you want. I'm just doing a little bit and I'm going to take my knife and I am going to chop up these pecans because I don't want real big pieces. I want fine, thin pieces. I want a little. I don't want a lot. So I might have put too much. So I'm going to have to take some out of here, put them to the side. And let's just chop up this. All right. I want these kind of a little finer because I want the nut, but I don't want big chunks of nuts. So I'm gonna do this a little finer. So I'm, that's why I said I didn't need all of those. I might have put a little bit. So you wanna do enough. So I think these would be great for this sauce that I'm making. Now, you don't have to be like me. You don't have to chop everything. They got food processors. They got all kinds of gadgets you can use. I just enjoy doing this because it's something that lets out my frustration. And you know, I'm doing it homemade, I call it. So I just enjoy doing this. You can cut a lot of time instead of doing what I'm doing. So, but I'm getting them fine like this. And you can do this by putting this in a food processor and getting it just as fine or a hunky or however you want it. So I like my nuts like this and something like that. So let's finish this dish. Okay, then I'm gonna add uh, cream cheese. It's a whole cream cheese. I think it's an eight ounce, but I know you just buy a pack of cream cheese and there you go. Okay, this has to be room temperature. I let this sit out for a couple hours room temperature. Then I'm gonna beat and make this smooth. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Okay, then I'm, I mixed it and I'm making sure the mix is in there really good, mixing it up. Then I'm gonna add one third, it's all together, this was one third cup of pecans, chopped fine. And you know, one third to me is great. If you want more, you can add more, depends on how much nuts you want. And the way I chopped those was great. And it has to be room temperature, all of this, when you spread this onto your, your cans. After you. Now I'm going to show you. Perfect. See? And it's nuts all the way through. And it's fine. They're not real thick. Or if you like them bigger, you can do those bigger. Now we're going to stick this to the side. Let's clean up and let's finish this dish. Okay, now you need a 14 ounce can of cranberry sauce, any cranberry sauce you like. So we're gonna open up this can of cranberry sauce. Oh, came off very easily. <clears throat> you wanna take a knife, a wet knife maybe, or just a knife or something you can just kind of go around the can to make sure you loosen this up so it can come out. And you want to, all right, it's hard to get out. So you might want to check, you want to put on a, a good surface. Now you want to take it and you want to cut these kind of thick, kind of thick slices. They have to be very thick. You know, maybe four to a can. Maybe. And then I want to take these. And I'm just going to layer these into a little 
dish here. Okay, I cut four big thick slices and then I cut those in half and I placed them into the bottom of my pan and cut one in half to make sure the whole pan was covered. Then this mixture that I made, it has to be room temperature. I'm gonna take some of this mixture, making sure I mix it up really good, get everything mixed up the nuts. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna spread this. Ooh, this is really thick. I'm gonna have to use a spoon. So I'm just gonna spread this on like so. Let me get a spoon. Okay, I got some real warm water here. I'm putting my spoon in and I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna spread this mixture over the cranberries sauce. I mean, well, you know, the cranberry mode sauce. And it has to be mode. I don't know about using the other kind, the berries. This is the mode. And I'm just going to spread the nuts and the mixture that I made over the mold because it's gonna be one. I'm gonna use all of this for on this. And then I'll put my spoon back in the hot water because it's, it's kind of thick. I mean, it is room temperature, but it's not spreading. Yeah, the hot water on your spoon to get it going is great. Put that on there. Let me get all of that on here. We're just gonna throw all this on. I'm just gonna spread this out. I think that'll be the better way to do it. This dish was made by my mother-in-law and we had went over there for one Thanksgiving. It might've been Thanksgiving or Christmas and she had this dish and me and my daughter was like, what is this? And she said, oh, this is something that, you know, I learned to make it. It was kind of new. And she said, you have to try it. And I tried it and I loved it. And this is, was so good. So I asked her for the recipe which I think I got a half recipe, but I learned the recipe through the years. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna have to make this and I'm gonna have to show everybody this. This is so good. Yeah, the hot water really does help this and it spreads evenly. Now, after we spread all of this over it, make sure all this gets evenly and it's covered. Now this is covered and this is even, let's get the other can of cranberry. Okay, I've cut these and I am going to do the same, placing this on top of the other ones. I'm gonna cut this in half, I'm trying to get it equal. It's, sometimes you can cut them just right, and sometimes you can cut them a little bit off but everybody get it smashing these down. And then the ones that, you know, you can cut them, you know, cause you're gonna have some ones that look, you know, I just wanna fill those, fill it up with the cranberry. You just put some in the middle. You know, it, it might not look as pretty, but when you bring it to the table and everyone is like really getting down on it and eating it, it is really good because you're gonna dig in there with a spoon and you're gonna cut that. You know, just filling your cracks with it. And, you know, just press it down. So then you put this in a refrigerator, let it sit for 24 hours, a day or so, let it get the flavors in there, cover it up, I cover it now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up and I'm coming straight back. Okay, so after I put it and I smash down my mold, this needs to go in the refrigerator and set up for at least 24 hours. I'm making this for my Thanksgiving and I'm making this a day in advance. So, I got my little top here that I put on. It's in a nice top and there's what it looks like in the middle. Stuffed cranberry. It is gonna be delicious goes into your refrigerator, let it chill until serving. 
Hey guys, I thank you for joining us today to make this lovely stuffed cranberry sauce. You're gonna love it and your kids are gonna love it and your family's gonna love it. I want you all to come back for another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I like to hear what you all think. If you got any dishes you want me to prepare, just hit me up, Facebook or anything. Just let me know what you want me to do and I do it. Hey, love you all guys. Guess what? We did this together. We cooked this dish together. You and me. Bye. Before I go guys, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And I hope you all have a lovely one. Be safe, please wear a mask and cover up when you go outside. See you next time.